Hello friends, my name is Srinivas and I welcome you to my channel Coding Skills. As part of this video, we will learn how to find a missing number within a given array. So as part of this video, we will also see three different approaches. So let's see how we can implement the same using a simple Java program. As you are seeing my screen, so we have imported arrays which is from the util package. And I have hard coded an array. So I don't want to read that array for the convenience purpose. I'm just hard coding integer array equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. So here 8, I have missed it within my variable assignment value. So this I have created three different methods. So find missing number in an array using approach 1, approach 2, and approach 3. For all three methods, I'm passing the same array. So we will run this program to see all three approaches together. So let's see the approach by approach. First approach one is that we are using a summation technique. So the summation means we are going to perform the total and, and finally we'll be doing a subtraction. So let's see the implementation. Integer n equal to array dot length plus one. So what exactly it does is total numbers including the missing one, it is going to get the maximum length plus one then the expected sum is the expected sum equal to n into n plus one by two so this is going to give us sum of all the numbers from one to n and there is one one more variable in actual sum equal to zero and here we are performing a summing this is for each loop for int num all the arrays like the, the whatever the input that you have received for the array object we are we are calculating sum actual sum equal to actual sum plus num so this is going to give us all the total of the values within within a given array this is the int missing number equal to expected sum minus actual sum means expected sum is that here we have computed and the actual sum is here we have computed so we are subtracting between both the variables and we are printing missing number is the actual missing number whatever it is written in this approach okay this is the first approach here we are only performing summing and subtracting let's see the second approach approach to using a xor operation for this method also we are passing an array in the first step we are calculating the length of an array as usual total numbers including the missing one here is int x bar 1 equal to array of 0. So we are storing a, the first element within an array into a variable. And we have declared one more variable x bar 2 equal to and initializing with the default value 1. And this is a for loop for int i equal to 1, i less than array dot length and i plus plus. And we are computing the x bar value. So x bar 1 equal to x bar 1. This is called the x bar op operation, the symbol. The, for each element within an array, we are repeating the value. So once we complete this for loop, we will be getting getting the value computed into x or 1. The same way we will also compute the value to x or 2. So for int i equal to 2, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus. n means that array length. And x or 2 equal to x or 2 x what symbol and with the i. So once we perform this for loop and we'll be getting a computation for x bar 2. So now the both the values are computed x bar 1 and x bar 2. We just need to find the missing number by using these two variables. Int missing number equal to x bar 1. Again, we are performing the same operation between these two variables x bar 2. You'll see a, we are printing a message. Missing number is using x bar operation. So whatever the variable that has computed. This is the second approach. Let's see the third approach. Third approach is using sorting mechanism. So when I say sorting mechanism, we'll be using a sorting which is provided by the arrays. For this method also, we are passing an array object. The very first step, if you observe here, arrays dot sort and we are passing an array. So all the elements within an array will be sorted. 
f r int i equal to 0, i less than i dot length and i plus plus. So within a for loop, we are checking a condition. If array of i not equal to i plus 1, if this condition is failed, means the number condition is not matching. So we are just simply printing a message that missing number is the i plus 1. So as and when this condition is satisfied, so we don't need to continue for the um, second iteration because our program purpose is to find the first missing number. So we're just taking the for loop. So these are the three different approaches. Let's run this program with the array value, what we have defined here to see how we can see the different results. In the, as per this input, we should see the missing number as eight. Let's run the program. The missing number using summation approach is eight. X bar approach is also eight and sorting approach is also eight. So for this input array, we could see the missing number calculated as expected. So let's change the values. I'll pass eight. Let's remove the value four. I'm running again. Observe here, you could see the missing number calculated as expected. Right? So, within a given array, if any one number is missing, so then all these methods are going to compute as expected. So, I'll show you some negative results. Let's say there are two numbers missed within this array, which should not be the case, but in that case, I'll just show you how the program will behave and you can pick the appropriate approach that suits for you. So what happened here? Four and eight are missed, right? So if you run the program again, these two has given a wrong result because expectation here is array should miss only one value. Otherwise, program is not going to give the appropriate result. But the last approach is the way it has coded is it has coded using a based on the sorting, right? Hence it was able to identify the, the first number itself. Like so I'm just telling you the negative impact if you are not giving a input as, as expected. So now you can choose the best approach by based on the input value. So I'm just putting again. So within this array, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and everything is populated, right? Let's run this program. Now, nothing is missed within this value, right? So let's see how it can. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So obviously the, it doesn't have any missing number, but it is trying to give first approach and second approach are trying to give the next number, which is the expected number. So you can see that one to nine is there. So 10 and 10. The reason you are not getting output from the third approach is here for loop condition itself is array dot length, which is beyond the number. Hence, this is not even getting into this complete expression. So I, I just try to show you all three approaches. So you can choose the appropriate one based on your requirement. Okay. So please like the video and share it with your friends. In case if you are looking for any specific program, please do let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to implement that program as well as possible for you. Thank you.